start recording. All right. So what happens in this function? Let's just go over it from start to finish. Uh, there are some things that we already saw. Uh, we can easily inline this. We have a unpack here, which we can just say, well, we can just do that function instead. Um, we've got some build beams, fair enough. Then we've got some, this is the cube of the uh, of the uh, of the building so if we have an engineer let's get an engineer in here and look. so the build cube that is what we're looking at here that's what the mesh extends uh, are then we have a list called vector extends list. Um, and what this does is uh, very interesting. So what this represents, if we have this unit, uh, then what that represents is this point, that point, and that point, and that point. And how do we know that? Well, we take the the size that we have, the footprint size, or mesh extent size, and we add to it, and then you've got this minus here, uh, minus and minus minus. So if this is the, I think, if this is the plus plus, then this would be the minus minus, and this would be plus minus and minus plus. All right, that's the four points that we have here. We put these four points in a table, and for each point, we do that vector call that we did, which is essentially a global call, right? Because it's not cached, it's not a value. So that's a get global, that's expensive, and it returns a new table, which is nasty too. Then uh, we have these utility functions, and these are hilarious. So let's look at what these utility functions do. Uh, these are written by the GPG people, the majority of them anyway. And what happens, where is my, uh, where's my file, there it is. Yeah. Not just a new table, it's a new table with, but with a separate meta -meta. Yes, but uh, the meta table is shared among them, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yes, it's, it's more than that. And the meta table is empty. It doesn't have any, uh, it just has the index and the new index set and nothing else. So it, it really doesn't add any functionality to to what's going on here. You could just as well write it as this, like that. And then you'd have the same result and then you could best write this as an up value here so that you use the same table every time instead of allocating a new one. Uh, but that's beside the point. And there we go. Uh, so we have a list, a table of tables and then this get closest vector, what does that do? Well, let's look at that. Um, given a position and a list, it uh, computes the distance between two factors. So let's look at what that does, which is essentially just calling this function. So we have uh, a function that's just used as a wrapper uh, so we have a, a call uh, that's actually not really required. But okay, we have that. We compute the distance, and then we find the shortest distance, um, and then compute all the distances again, which is a bit weird, but okay. And then at some point, we get one of these values from this uh, uh, fr from the list return. So this, this, this what, what's happening in here is there's a lot of function calls that do very little um, over this list here. Uh, so then we have one of the closest points in the list, which means that uh, in this image, the end vec one, v1, is this one here, right? Because that's the closest one. Then we remove that one from this table, 
that we have. So we iterate over the table, we find the entry and we remove it from the table. And then we do the get closest vector again. So in the next iteration, we have these blue elements. And apparently this is V2, right? Uh, this is very painful. Then we have some interesting unpack. Note that unpack is syntactic. Yes, that too, but it's essentially this, right? So you're doing free get table operations. Uh, but okay, you know, that's, that's, I, I, you know, it's okay. Uh, we do some basic calculations uh, and here is the actual beam entity that we're seeing. So that is, wait, no, this is something else. What was this again? Oh yeah, the projectile. Oh, I skipped the projectile. Don't skip this. Let me get back to the projectile here because that one is hilarious too. Okay, so we've got the uh, the projectile which starts at the center, right? That's what happened when we uh, start the factory. You can see that it starts between the right. It starts it at the center. That's what's happening here. We just put the beam between the two endpoints that we found, um, and then we have this while loop where uh, we're stating, well, um, given uh, a slider, I think, oh no, so this is a projectile, so we can just set its velocity. Given uh, the projectile, if we if flip direction, how did this work again? Right, so the velocity is set so that um, it takes roughly half a second to get from one side to the next. Um, so we set the velocity uh, so that assuming that we are at one corner, because that's what it's going to jump to, you see that? Jump to here. It takes half a second to get to the other, and then we just flip the velocity. Note that when we warp, we again do this vector function here that doesn't add anything, and that's called every half a second. All right, so there's, there's already a couple of things. There's a lot of table operations happening here, uh, which is pretty painful, uh, but that's only being called uh, once for every engineer at the start. So that's not too bad, but you know, speaking about the garbage collector, this one hurts. Uh, we have a lot of logic that's being run here that is a bit convoluted in my opinion. So we've got this one, this get closest factor, and then we've got this wrapper function here that just calls this function which is a global again um, so that's pretty expensive you've got unpacks all over the place which are pretty expensive um, and then we haven't even touched the projectile yet because uh, what is a projectile well if we look at projectiles is this one in the no it's not even in the repository so let's go here uh, we just have a very basic projectile here, uh, but what's relevant is that it uh, inherits from an emitter projectile, which is this fella, and that fella inherits from an actual projectile, which is uh, this fella right here, and that fella has all this logic and uh, allocations going on, etc., etc., etc. It has this massive memory footprint, uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, relatively speaking, to whatever else we're doing in this function, and we're creating it here for every engineer that we're making. Um, while at the same time, you could just make a dummy projectile that does essentially nothing on the Lua end and just does everything that the C end has, like for example, the movement and the fact that it can interact with the world and stuff like that. But it would <coughs> prevent all the Lua allocations and the, uh, the, uh, the table allocations and all of this and etc. that we're doing right here, right? For example, every one of these dummy projectiles that we're creating here is not just allocating all the other tables that we're seeing in here. No, 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 we are also allocating this damage data table. 
which does absolutely nothing because damage radius is nil means that it doesn't exist. Uh, uh, but okay, and it stores the army, which okay, and it has a trash bag, all right, and it retrieves the blueprint. So there's there's a lot more going on in this one line than in pretty much the entirety of this function, whereas it could have been just this. And then we can go further, because uh, now I'm going to apply some mathematics here. What we're doing here is, given a point, let me make a new drawing. What we're doing here is, given uh, uh, a square, or a rectangle to be more exact, because a naval factory is uh, longer than its width. So given a rectangle of some sort, and given the four points, the four outer points of the rectangle, um, what we could do, um, so what we're doing here is uh, iterating all the points, which means that the complexity of this is O n, where n is the number of points. <clears throat> now this is um, not technically correct because the number of points is always four, so one could argue that uh, it is not uh, it has no growth. It's constant in that sense, but for the sake of it, let's assume this is O n because of the memory allocations and tables. What we could also do is uh, how many of you are familiar with vector mathematics? Just to get an idea. Are you familiar with it, Tegada? Or, uh, uh... Okay, so let... Okay, so let, let's just uh, uh, take uh, a few basic concepts here. If we have the unit circle... Whoa, that's absolutely not visible. So, if we have the unit circle... Um, and we have a vector that is uh, moving across the unit circle. And then we have something called a dot product, which is also called the inner product, but that's not relevant here, uh, that we can do between two vectors. Um, and I need another color. Uh, what the dot product means is, uh, in some sense, uh, we, we compute... Uh, something that represents the angle between the two vectors. Uh, but that's not really relevant. What's relevant is the sign of that, uh, of that, of that uh, angle. So if we apply the dot product between this uh, black and brown vector, if the brown vector... Wait, hold on. Let me pick a new color. If the brown vector is in this top area, then the sign of the dot product is positive. If the brown vector is in the bottom area, then the sign of the uh, dot product is a negative. Uh, and as we move the, the black vector, so if you would have another unit circle here, and our black vector would point in that direction, the same applies, but then the axis is a bit skewed. So anything that roughly points into the direction of the black vector is going to be uh, positive, and anything that uh, points in the other direction is going to be negative. Uh, and what we can do, knowing that, is that given the center of this factory... <coughs> uh, let me check if I am doing this... Right, yes, so given the center of this factory and the diagonals of the square that we're working in, so that would be this one, and that one, and given the direction towards the engineer that we have, which is this direction right here, we can determine what points we need in O1 time without doing any table allocations. And how do we know that? Uh, allow me to check if I'm doing this right. Because I think I'm 
I'm not doing it right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. If we have this one, I'm making a tiny mistake here. Allow me to come back to this next week. I'm making a tiny, a tiny mistake. What is the mistake? But anyway, uh, the point is, is that we can do this uh, with a bunch of, a bunch of mathematics, magic, ta -da. and then we have and fact one is blah blah blah, and fact two is blah blah blah, um, and. Uh, with thanks to that magic and the tada line, we essentially can skip all of these table allocations altogether, uh, which is pretty nice because that's what we're interested in, right? If we're talking about the garbage collector and stuff like that, then that's what we're interested in. Uh, and I wanted to to quickly show this great working example that I worked out last week, but I can't. Rem I'm making a tiny mistake here, but that's irrelevant. The point is, is that. Um, we can make the game faster by carefully looking at what we have, right? So what is the scope? Is this a global, an up value, or local? Uh, by, for example, uh, determining that we have this beams table here and that that wasn't used. So we can just remove that, right? That's what we did at the start. Uh, by caching uh, vectors and, and th those type of operations. Or, for example, with the shield by entirely not running code we're just saying well we already have so many of us why do we need more right where the uh, which is kind of what we're doing uh, all right this is the wrong branch but what we did in the other branch uh, or and that's what we could do here um, by applying mathematics over doing uh, a, a quote-unquote naive solution, which is what this is, uh, and then making it faster. Um, and the, the point I'm showing uh, you this is that uh, there is still a lot to gain in this game, uh, as Loud shows, uh, but there's still a lot to gain in the areas that Loud didn't touch, uh, which means that uh, um, given enough time and given enough interest from people and given enough attempts because not everything is going to work out the first time i'm 100 percent confident that we can get this game running uh so smooth in terms of that i can play a seton's game and it doesn't slow down uh, and my seton's games last roughly 40 minutes so that's uh, that that should totally be, be possible um that's my rambling on Apologies for that. It uh, took slightly more than 10 minutes. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I hope it, it, it shows. I, I, I should have uh, worked this out before, uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it's there though. You can, you can use the dot product and then do some nifty magic, and then you know. Oh, so apparently I need to use this and that point, but. Um, <clears throat> point being, there's still a lot of things we can do. Uh, and you too, Sparto, uh, in terms of loud, uh, if, we, if we would revamp this function, uh, absolutely just take it. Copy that commit, ta-da, put it in loud, make it faster. Because that's... Uh, oh, the horrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think um, um, one uh, particular issue with the, uh, say for example, you have these AI platoon functions. Scenario platoon AI, between quotation mark. Yeah, so these are all platoon functions that am I? Yeah, I think this is the right file. Um, but instead of trying to reuse the functions that are in here, they should just say, all right, I'm just going to copy this function. 
control C and they put it in their own file and then uh, they don't have to worry about hooking and merging and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, these things. That's uh, another topic for another day. Um, yeah, so that's uh, so much about this function. And this pattern happens all over the code, uh, even in code that we introduced, like this code right here. Uh, there's a table being made here. There's a table being made there. Uh, there's a table being made here again. Uh, all, all those, uh, another table right there. There's no need for all those tables. Uh, the only thing we introduce is more table operations. So instead of just being able to use uh, PZ or something like that, because the second value is probably the Z value, we need to do project dot, which is a get table operation, and then get the value. And then this two is another uh, get table operation. So instead of just having the value, we need to do two get table operations just before we can do the subtraction. And then we need to do another two table operations, right? Because this is essentially two table. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so you're referring to this here, for example. Yes. So in this case, the purpose of this pull request was to prevent the uh, the get blueprint call right there. So this get unit sizes, which is somewhere in here too, I think. Um, but that one has a blueprint call in it. And the idea of caching it in here is to just say, okay, I don't want to do that blueprint call because that's a bit expensive. Uh, so I cache it in the Lua side and then reuse it. Um, in a future pull request, uh, what we're doing here right now, uh, and what, what, we've, what we have been doing, including me, is that if we look at on creates, then all of these we look at on create. There it is. Oh, there it is. Then all of these values, um, the footprints, the, the skirts, the build stands, the blueprints, etc., the uh, weapon counts, uh, other information, they're all stored in the instance of the unit. Even though if we build the same unit twice, it's going to have the same footprint, the same skirt size, the same collision offset, the same, uh, all of these values will be the same, right? So what we could do in the future, and that is something that I'm experimenting uh, with in this pull request, because a lot of these classes have that issue where everything is the same, but we're caching it because that's faster. Well, we could just say, um, this is going to be a bit more difficult to find than I was hoping. Oh no. Not you. Uh, okay, but what we could say, instead of um, having these files on each individual unit, is that we have a path cache. Um, flat cache as part of the unit class itself. So this one is uh, part of the meta table of the unit. And what we could say is, well, if, um, so local meta is get meta table self, 
which means that if we do this, we're not in our instance, but we're in our class, right? So get into our class. If meta.flatcache, uh, if it doesn't exist, then we populate that cache with all of this information where we say, okay, well, meta.flatcache is blah, 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 blah. Right, that would be all of this right here. Assuming that the blueprint exists. Um, and then what we can do with this is prevent a lot of uh, garbage collection. So this is stored in the meta table, which means that every unit will have the same flat cache, uh, every unit of the same class. So uh, the Aurora will have its own flat cache, the uh, Mantis will have its own flat cache, etc. Um, uh, so this is shared between all the all, all the units of the same class, which prevents us from allocating all these additional tables and values and uh, table values on this end for each and every ind individual unit. Uh, and by doing this, I think we can significantly reduce the impact on the garbage collector because we can um, all the information that is in general the same for all units of a class. Uh, do not have to be allocated for each and every single unit and stored, etc., etc. Um, which is for units interesting, but think about projectiles, where with projectiles you may have one projectile that spawns and these projectiles are literally the definition of garbage. It's created to be to be destroyed again, right? Because you create it to fire at something and then it hits it and then it's destroyed. Uh, and with uh, this pattern, we could cache all the information on the Lua end once and then just reuse it so that if we would be using the footprint, we would no longer say self.footprint, but instead it would say self.flatcache.footprint. Uh, and that, that introduces another get table operation, but it reduces a lot of stress on the garbage collector where all of these values would be moved in here. Uh, these effect packs are, are unique, so that's fine. The weapon count, that is. Every mantis has the same amount of weapons, so we can put that in there. Uh, this information, what tech, layer, faction, uh, the movement effects, that's the same for every mantis. So we can put that in here, uh, and you can see that this starts to add up. Uh, especially if we, the more optimizations we do, this is going to add up more and more and more and more. But that's for the future. That's not for today. Oops, 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 oops. I need some changes here. Yeah. Right. Um, that's again me rambling. And we have more people even. This is uh, pretty unique. Um, that's uh, it for me, for today at least. Um, are there any questions? I'll take that, that awkward silence as a no. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, and I'm not sure if that's if that's if that's a good thing, but you know. Uh, well, that's the, the entire point of this session is that I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm, I'm trying to get you on, on the same level. Um, but uh, for, for those that, uh, that join in to actually uh, learn how to uh, write performant code, and for those that were here at the very start, because it's... Uh, the session builds on what we already did. Uh, is this helpful, a session like this? Uh, all right, that's that's two yes, zero no. That's uh, two over zero, division over zero. That's infinite. So that's very positive. All right. Uh, good. That's the, uh, the purpose. Allow me to... Yeah, that is sort of the plan, actually. 
allow me to see if I did anything that I need to keep. Why is that in here? Oh. There we go. Alright. Then, um, don't save. Don't save. Um, then next week, I think I'm gonna uh, look at another example that approaches optimizing the game from yet another perspective. You just have to think of uh, the example in question. But I've got entirely to figure that out. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't have anything to add anymore. Uh, 